ഹായ് ഓൾ വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു മൈ യൂട്യൂബ് ചാനൽ ഇന്നത്തെ വീഡിയോ യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റി ലൈബ്രറിയിലേക്ക് പോകുന്ന വീഡിയോ ആണ് കാരണം എൻ്റെ അസൈൻമെൻറ്റ് ഡ്യൂ ഇസ് ഓൺ ദി എയ്റ്റീൻത് ഓഫ് ദിസ് മന്ത് വിച്ച് ഇസ് ദി കമ്മിങ് വെനസ്ഡേ അതുകൊണ്ട് എനിക്ക് ടൈം വേസ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ ഒട്ടും ഇല്ലാത്തത് കൊണ്ടും ഞാൻ വിചാരിച്ചു ലൈബ്രറിയിൽ പോകുന്നത് കാരണം ഒത്തിരി ബുക്ക്സ് റെഫർ ചെയ്യാനുണ്ട് ഇറ്റ്സ് എ ഫോർ തൗസൻഡ് വേർഡ്സ് എസ് എ അപ്പോൾ അത് ഒത്തിരി എഴുതാനുണ്ട് എഴുതുക എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ടൈപ്പ് ചെയ്യാനാണ് കേട്ടോ ഫോർ തൗസൻഡ് വേർഡ്സ് ടൈപ്പ് ചെയ്ത് നമ്മൾ പി ഡി എഫ് ഫോർമാറ്റിലാണ് അയക്കുന്നത് സോ അത് ചെയ്യണം ഇപ്പം ടൈം ഇസ് ട്വൽവ് തേർട്ടി കഴിഞ്ഞു എനിക്ക് നാല് മണിയാകുമ്പോൾ തിരിച്ചു വരണം കാരണം നാല് മണി സമയത്താണ് ഞാൻ വീട്ടിലേക്ക് വീഡിയോ കോൾ ചെയ്യുന്നത് അപ്പോൾ ആ സമയത്ത് തിരിച്ചു വരണം നമുക്ക് യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റിക്ക് പോകാം അതിന് മുന്നേ ഞാനൊന്ന് ലഞ്ച് എന്തെങ്കിലും ഞാൻ ഇന്നലെ കുറച്ച് പാസ്റ്റ ഉണ്ടാക്കിയിട്ടുണ്ടായിരുന്നു അപ്പോൾ അത് കഴിച്ചിട്ട് നമുക്ക് ലൈബ്രറിയിലേക്ക് പോകാം അപ്പം ലൈബ്രറി കാണാം ഓർ പാസ്ത കാണുന്നു ജസ്റ്റ് പാസ്ത ഒന്ന് കാണിച്ചിട്ട് ലൈബ്രറിയിലേക്ക് പോകാം ഓക്കെ ലേറ്റ്ലി പാസ്ത ബിക്കേം വൺ ഓഫ് മൈ ഫേവറേറ്റ് ഫുഡ് ഐറ്റംസ് യെസ് ഓഫ് കോഴ്സ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഈസി ടു മേക്ക് ആൻഡ് ദി ഇൻഗ്രീഡിയൻസ് ആർ ഈസ്ലി അവൈലബിൾ ഹിയർ I never get tired of eating pasta and of course I miss my Indian food. Yes, I miss dosa, sambar and chutney which is my favorite combo ever and of course biryani. Living alone in a big city is very hard and difficult. For me Indian food makes me feel at home. So whenever I get time I make Indian food to make myself comfortable. Hydrating yourself is also equally important as we eat food. So I took some lime juice to make myself boost in between because it's going to be a 4 hours of study in the library. So I got ready and also I took some 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 water along with me. Yes. Yes, let's go to the library. Tada we reach here and the building you see over there is the library which is the Seaborn library which is situated in the main campus of the University of Chester which is the Exton Park campus so as we enter into the library on the left side we'll be able to see the help desk uh, from where we collect our id cards and when we turn to the right side we'll be able to see some cabins they are called ports So if you want to use the pod you need to book them ahead. Uh it's a nice place to sit comfortably with your laptop and do all your works you know. It's a nice place actually. So now I am moving towards the postgraduate study room. There are so many separate study areas for the postgraduate students in this library. If you prefer studying with your friends there are separate areas for that too i filmed this video on a saturday so as you can see there is nobody in the library um usually this is not the case usually on working days those couches you guys are seeing around will be fully equipped with students so if you want to study alone or if you want to work alone i would say saturday and sundays are the best days because there will not be much rush in the library and guess what the best part of this library is it can be accessed 24/7 to the best of my knowledge i believe most of the libraries in the uk universities are accessible 24/7 finally i am at the study area and it's now time to search for the right place to sit back and work as well as shoot the video yes i am searching the right place for me look at the view guys it was amazingly beautiful Before coming to the UK when I was reading the module of the course I found that our credits are being added on the basis of assignments and I was literally happy because I thought assignments would be the best way to um, gain good marks and scores but it is not I think writing assignments would help us to you know it is really nice in a sense that it will help us to gain more knowledge and clarity in our subject area 
obviously if you are a person who plan to do phd and all it is the best way to get knowledge in writing essay paraphrasing and all so yes assignments are good in that sense but it is definitely time consuming you need to give time for that and you need to work upon it and in the fullness of time i do truly believe that the knowledge you have gained by doing all these assignments would definitely help you to thrive in your future career there is a personalized model site for every student in the university to get access to the lectures ebook e library um and powerpoint presentations later which is obviously helping the students to catch up everything again being an international student i swear i struggled a lot at the beginning of this academic year really struggled hard to cope up with the curriculum which is very new to me and of course the cultural shock i faced later everything became easier for me only because of the help of my personal academic tutor so not only me having one every student in the university is is having a personal academic tutor who is there to help you uh, mainly for international students they would help you really well so get in touch with them more often to to put yourself at ease as an international student reading and referring book is not my cup of tea but my course demands it so i never have an option to skip that so i started reading some books lately and i feel like i am molding myself and this is what they really need from us this is how we learn here this is how we gain knowledge I really hope I can see myself as a better person after completing the course um and that really matters. So it's almost 4 p.m. and it's time to go home. I could only complete one fourth of the assignment and that's okay. Anyways, I have taken some books to borrow. Borrowing books from this library is a very simple procedure. Let me show you how. All you have to do is just scan your ID card and put the books you have taken underneath the machine and it will scan accordingly and will show the names of the book on the screen. Yeah, this is the simple process. It's all done. And after all this process, you will get an email to your personal email ID and yes, it's done. So everything's done and It's time to wind up today's vlog. I hope you guys really enjoyed this small library vlog of the university and see you guys in the next video. Bye. Take care. Love you all.